The University Interscholastic League has made the unprecedented ruling delaying the start of the high school football season in the state of Texas until September 24th. The UIL, which governs high school sports and extracurricular activities in the state, making the decision in the middle of this major coronavirus outbreak, but it doesn't affect all schools. With more, let's check in with our Greg Simmons. Yeah, there are most of the schools in 4A down to 1A are not affected, most of them. In making this ruling today, the UIL says there will be a full high school football season with playoffs that usually end just before Christmas, now extended to January 2021. This affects all the major school districts in San Antonio, Northside, Northeast, San Antonio, Judson, and Southwest, just to name a few. Any teams that play in 6A or 5A cannot begin any games until September the 24th and cannot begin workouts until September the 7th after Labor Day rather than August the 3rd. But teams in the play in class 4A and below will start on time on August 27th. Now here's a look at the revised schedule according to the UIL. 4A to 1A can kick off on schedule August the 27th, September the 7th. 6A and 5A football and volleyball practice can begin September the 14th. Volleyball games can begin in 6A and 5A. 4A on down are already underway. September the 14th, 6A and 5A football games can begin, or I should say at least they can start their practices December the 11th through the 12th, 6A, 5A Volleyball State Tournament. That should be September the 24th. There you go, not September the 14th. And January 2021, 6A, 5A Football Playoffs extended. We have a reaction. Well, to see the UIL's update, uh, you know, gives life to our kids uh, in the push to make sure that they're not just maintaining what they've done uh, with us in strength camp, but they're pushing towards starting a season. So it's exciting for them to see new life. There's some, some scrambling going on today, just like ourselves, you know, we had some scheduled games with some 4A teams that are not going to make now. And so there's going to be some rescheduling and everybody's going to try to get that done as soon as possible. Uh, but again, it's a, it's a great opportunity and, and every time we have an opportunity to do something, uh, that's good for the kids. And what does the executive director of the OIL have to say about today's ruling? Got that for you coming up in just a few minutes in sports. Remember, for 6A and 5A high school football, September 24th.